so when you open your product structures the first time is as I told you before you come to new project then you enter project name what will be the project name let's say let's say to so you now put the project name let's say prota shift if you press the shift key you get that prota training hd caps lock hds is the structures proto training you click on ok you choose the project the the con the country code you import so the next thing we are going to do is we'll come to file we'll come to external reference drawings we'll now load we'll now when you come to external reference drawing you click on load then you pick the project that you want to import the one that you have prepared in AutoCAD then you click open so make sure it's mm give it time you can see that it has been imported so without without importing your grease yet as it is now you can be able to move it you left click on this move you drag it small good maybe you like this position it's okay now now we import our grids by clicking on import we'll click on imp axis import axis immediately you click on import axis you can see that grid mine grid mine those are the really, these are the grids that we created in in autocad that are now showing grid mine grid mine so you can see import columns you can see column mine this is the layer that we created in AutoCAD. So we we'll now click on OK. We we'll check for overlapping. See that everything is OK. We we'll close. So if you want to use DXF files, maybe date was red. Good. You can see that the colors are now showing here. Then we can now click on close. So we can have. So we see that we now have our grease right here in in proto structures but we have a little issue maybe we may not like maybe we may not like this arrangement we do not like how this is arranged the y6 y2 so this is how i do i count this one two three four five six seven so if i can start here with one let me show you something update it will refuse to update because there's already one here good so this is what i do i count one two three four five six seven one two three four five here is five so i right click and put that five i'll update it will update if there is five somewhere it won't update so now i can be able to come here and insert my one one i'll update it all right click here two i'll update it all right click here three i'll update it all right click here four four i will update it then five is here all right click here i'll give it six we update it i'll right click here and i'll give the grid seven i'll update it and i'll close then on the vertical as is now i'll see check x x we have a in the middle here so you can see a b c d e this one is e all right click i'll put the e i will update it and close then i'll now come here I put my A update close second one B update and close third one C 
I'll do that and close the fourth one D I'll do that and close the sixth one D then E E is already there we changed it E then F then G H oh G H this is H I so let's change it to I Change it to H. J. And now close this. So, you, as you can see, we are at level. This, 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 this thing is assumed to be our first floor. So this is lying at four, three thousand. As we see, we are not on the ground floor except you defined it yourself. So for now, we are at first floor. Anything that you do here, if you are drawing a beam here, know that the beam is lying on the first floor. So now that we have successfully imported our grids, let's go and do some settings. You come to analysis, you click on building analysis. That is, that is you left click, you left click on building analysis. Then it takes you to this place. When you come to this place now, when you come to this place now, the next thing you do is you edit materials. Under under edit materials here, this is where you choose your concrete grade. It's already on 2025. I'll leave it that way. I want to apply it to all the stories, all the classes. You see that good. Everything has been applied. Then that's for column settings. Then the concrete grid, the steel grid, you left click. You choose what you want to choose. Then you click if you use here, you now apply to all stories, you know, apply for the rest. But if it's already like this, you leave it. Then for for rebars, our columns we may decide to use Y16 for the rebars. Click on OK. Then we'll come to beam. If, if you have concrete wall, you choose what you want it to, to be. Then we'll come to concrete beams. You select. Let's say you want to use Y16 and y20 depends on you then on our slab let's say we are deciding to use y12 on the slab you here i selected to unselect everything then i now choose the the steel that i want then on the links i unselect everything and choose y10 then you come to foundation you choose maybe i want to use y12 in my foundation's footing yeah i'll choose that but with we have foundation links okay y10 depends on what you want to use you can use y8 okay so we're done with that setting sometimes when after this setting you come back and realize that it didn't set again that is a problem with the prototype or you just have to redo it again so now under parameters this is a code that you've chosen the concrete steel earthquake then foundation let's assume that the bearing capacity is 150 and this one is loose sand with this assumption then we leave here lateral drip to assume that these columns are unbraced then here 
come to the project type tool you can write sds Prota training made by Israel HD check by you check by you and a project number you choose if if you have it if it's necessary then the 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 time that you are doing this design you now write january 17th you can also write the year if you want then i'll click on okay this is january this was a put the year 2020 this is now 17 20 2022 click on ok you have that the next thing you do is you come to load combination you don't do much just click on load generator click on ok you generate your load click on ok then I think this these settings we can progress with our design. We close, come back. The next thing is modeling. You can get your beam here. We can come to concrete member and see get your beam there. So let's say our beam is the wall thickness 230. This beam that's wall that I picked. Come here to beam. beam 230 by 450 then you you now come here and start drawing I will beam there to this place some people believe if you if you are done with that beam you escape once you come and draw another beam you escape once come and draw another beam and draw one to this place we can draw another beam to this place you can draw your left click and drag you left click and you drag left click and you drag You can as you are walking you can still be taking a look uh, at these things in in 3d in, in your autocad blah you know so we might need to put a column here you might also need to put a column here so we might need a column here so since but since we have already made our columns in AutoCAD, it's still possible to just come to concrete member, click on column, column will come up. Since it's already 230 by 230, then you now click where you want to have a column. You can also click here. Then, but this is straight to so our delete it. It's left click, then you type the delete key, you right click, copy properties, just to use what you've copied before. So now this come here, stop there. I have this. So just have it in mind that all this thing you are doing is first floor. These beams that you are doing here, you assume it is if on normal condition you assume it that is first floor. You have this. I don't know. 
if you are the structural engineer you put a column here or you let this or you make you make this one it let's let's check the let's check the distance i can just click as is there let me check what is there five thousand five point two meters let me come to autocad and check my drawing since there is since there is no wall here when the ground floor is empty so you can't support the column so I'm gonna accept this place so I might put the column here delete beam delete Okay, you can see pick another beam, come to this place, cross another beam there, cross another one here, cross another one here. But when you are done, you click on escape, you are out of that command here is the staircase room here we have our beams you can see this column here so you can see this wall this red one here shows that this wall is on top of the slab yeah so it depends on you the structural engineer you might decide to cross a beam here you right click a beam that place okay this is what we have here let's so for you to look this in 3d what you have done already you scroll up you come to view you left click you right click click on 3d this is the model that we have done so far so we'll come back to by left clicking on floor plan we'll come back to floor plan yeah so we have this we have this here now mm -hmm. so the next thing so now but well, let, let me also teach you on how to to offset grid maybe you come here and you need to offset another grid you left click on the grid right click offset you see this distance you click f2 I can give you a chance maybe you want to offset it by 1000 if you are going to the right it's positive but if you are going to offset it to the left it's negative so you can see that I've made the offset of this you can click there and here and rename the the grid but I'm deleting it out so this is what we have here in our next lecture now we are going to learn how to insert slab on this on this beam on this beam arrangement that we have done thank you for watching